Hi, what's up guys? My name is Paulo Carvalho. In this video tutorial, I will show how to model a parametric lat structure using Grasshopper and the MultiPipe new component from Rhino 7. So let's do it. There is a lot of application for this type of structure in designing architectural projects, most of which combine with 3D printing technology. For this tutorial, we are going to project a parametric pavilion for 3D printing using the lattice structure, like the examples we saw. First, let's take a look at the scenario made in Rhino for the pavilion setup. I quick model this outdoor art to be this side of our pavilion. With our curve setup, let's enable the record history button to give us the possibility to change our base curves if you need. Let's allow this curve to be the pavilion surface using the loft command. Now that we have the surface, let's open Grasshopper and pass to the second phase. In Rhino 7, Grasshopper is integrated into the software, so we only need to type Grasshopper in the command bar or click on that icon here in the tools tab that the plugin opens. Let's start by referencing our surface into Grasshopper. Double click on Grasshopper canvas and choose the surface parameter. Right click on the component and select the option Set One Surface. In Rhino, we select our surface. Now we have the surface referenced in Grasshopper. Write the Rhino surface to see only the Grasshopper preview. To make the lattice structure, we will use the plugin called Launchbox that can be downloaded for free from the Footful Rhino website. With Launchbox, we will save time in this part. Select the Space Through Structure component in the Launchbox Structure tab. Connect your loft surface to the component's input. As we can see, the truth is already applied. Let's control the division using a number slide on input U and another slide on V. Let's put 80 in V and 20 in U. It's much better. Let's also create a number slide to control the depth of the structure. We will put something like 1.2 meters. I'm working meters. Now, we are going to create a cover parameter to put all the structure lines that the component gives us as an output. Keep your interface as clean as possible by hiding the past components. As we can see, these components give us a perfect truth that can be modified by changing the initial parameters of our algorithm. Let's take time to keep our code cleaner Group the steps in aiming what's necessary for better understanding. The final step is transforming these structural lines into a set of solid bars with organic joints, as we saw in the initial references. Go to the SubD toolbar on the Surface tab and find the component called MultiPipe, or type in the canvas of Grasshopper. This is a component that creates a branch of pipes from lines, curves, and intersections. It has a set of inputs that can be used to control the pipes. First, let's put some number slides in the inputs. I will put 0.2 in node size and 0.6 in strut size. Now we can connect our lines and see what happens. This process can be a little heavy due to the amount of lines. Great! I'm going to reduce the size of these nodes a little bit. Perfect! We can already see our lattice structure, with bars and nodes smoothly joined. Let's put a preview here for a better view. See that the lattice structure is not very smooth. Transform the MultiPipe SubD surface into a mesh using the SubD to mesh component. To make it more smooth, we are going to use the Cat Maroon component from WeaveBird plugin. Now it's perfect for 3D printing. Let's put one more preview here. And now we have our parametric lattice structure, made from a Rhino surface and using the MultiPipe component from Grasshopper. And it's done. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Bye!